Hello, morning. Um, just about to head out on the Himalayan and the 390 KTM Adventure service yesterday. Uh, I've got a chap coming down who's um, he's returning to biking. He's not ridden for five or six years or so, uh, and he just wants to take it out, just to, uh, not as a, um, a course or a lesson, just as a, a bit of a refresher. I don't think he's got a bike, so he wants to uh, try one of the A2 bikes, uh, just see how he gets on, really. Uh, I think, uh, well, I've had a, quite a few people uh, returning to biking recently. I've had people who've not ridden for 15 years, which is always interesting, especially when they come down and ride the posties. But uh, I've found that people soon get back into the swing of things. Um, I think what, what I'm, I'm finding is they really do suit the smaller adventure bikes. Uh, and I've got an uncle, my uncle John, he, he wanted to get back into biking. He went down to a place that gave sort of refresher courses and they put him straight on a Gladius 600. And I think it put him off ever getting back on a bike again. So I think you've got to be really mindful when you get him back into the saddle, not to uh, overscale yourself in, in terms of bike size. So if you've not ridden for a while, in a way, a 125 or something like that, or a 250 or, a, you know, you know these A2 bikes, Himalayan 390, CRF 250, are kind of ideal, I think, just because they give you confidence. Uh, and, and in today's um, road work, overcrowded and congested roads, there's not many times that you need more than a 250 or 400. So uh, I think um, for people getting back into biking, if anybody's watching this thinking, you know, I fancy getting a bike again, I would say start small. Don't consider 600cc as a small bike because it's not a small bike. Uh, you know, I've heard people say about, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get my wife a, a small bike to start on. Or what are you going to get? A, I'm going to get her a Bandit 600 or a, an R6 or something. And it's just the wrong end of the stick. So that's it. We're going to head out, just do some back lanes, back roads, and just get into the flow just for half a day. It's dry outside, so uh, it's cold in here, very cold in here, though. So let's see how they get on. All right, cheers. But which, which will it be? Himalayan or 390? 43 brake horsepower or 24 brake horsepower? 170 kilos or 210 kilos? There's a world of difference. But at the end of the day, both basically do the same thing. So don't overstress it.